The Dark, Dark Night by M. Christina Butler and Jane Chapman. Frog was very excited. All winter he had been asleep under a stone, and now it was spring. He was on his way back to his pond. On the way, he bumped into Badger and Hedgehog. Then he played leapfrog with Rabbit and Dormouse. Suddenly, he saw that it was getting dark, so he borrowed a lantern from Dormouse and off he went through the wood to the pond. <sighs> the wind blew in the trees. Squeak, squeak, went the lantern as it swung from side to side and the dark was all around. When Frog reached his home, he put the lantern down behind him and was just about to jump into the water when he saw a huge black pond monster with enormous claws coming out of the reeds. Frog grabbed the lantern and hopped as fast as he could back through the wood. There's a huge monster in the pond, he cried. Are you sure? laughed Hedgehog. Frog nodded, trembling. All right, said Hedgehog calmly. We'll have a look together. And I'll come too, said Dormouse. Off they went through the wood. <sighs> the wind blew in the trees. Squeak, squeak, went the lanterns. Wait for me, cried Dormouse. And the dark was all around. Soon Hedgehog and Frog reached the pond. Now, said Hedgehog, where's this monster? There it is, cried Frog. It was bigger than before, with enormous claws and terrible spikes down its back. Run, run, cried Hedgehog. Pond monster, pond monster. What's all this, chuckled Rabbit. A monster? There's no such thing as monsters. Come and see for yourself, said Hedgehog, shivering. All right, said Rabbit, I will. I'll never swim in my pond again, sniffed Frog as they set off through the wood. <sighs> Blew the wind in the trees. Squeak, squeak, went the lanterns. Wait for me, cried Dormouse. And the dark was all around. It wasn't long before they were back at the pond. Rabbit, Hedgehog and Frog tiptoed to the water. There it was again, the big pond monster. It was bigger than ever. It had enormous claws, terrible spikes down its back, two big horns and wildly waving arms. Run for your life! yelled Rabbit, racing back through the wood with Hedgehog and Frog close behind. What's going on? asked Badger. So they told him all about it. Come along, Badger said. I'd like to see this monster of yours. And off they went once more. <sighs> <sighs> Howled the wind. Squeak, squeak, went the lanterns. Wait for me! cried Dormouse, and the dark was all around. As they reached the pond, a huge gust of wind came through the trees and blew out all the lanterns. I can't see a monster, said Badger at last. That's because it's too dark, whispered Frog. And there they all stood, waiting in the moonlight for something to happen. Just then, Dormouse caught up with the others. At last! Cooey! she shouted, waving from the bank. Badger, Rabbit, Hedgehog and Frog looked at Dormouse. And then they looked at the small, black shape waving from the reeds. Look at that, said Hedgehog. That's not a pond monster, said Rabbit. That's Dormouse's shadow, said Frog. Well, I never, said Badger. You were frightened of your shadows all the time. The four friends laughed and laughed and laughed, 
Hooray! cried Frog. There's no monster after all. And with a huge happy splash, he leapt into his lovely pond at last.